Welcome for today's topic PN junction diode which is also called as PN junction semiconductor diode. or simply a diode. When we take P and N type of semiconductor separately, then there are very little uses of this. But when we join this two type of semiconductor, we get the P and junction diode and which are having huge uses in the digital world. The symbol of P and junction diode is an arrowhead and with a line this is the positive terminal of p-n junction diode this is negative terminal of p-n junction diode and this arrowhead indicates the flow of current let us see the formation of p-n junction diode we know that for getting the p and n type of semiconductor we have to add some impurity that is pentavalent impurity and trivalent impurity in the intrinsic type of semiconductor so let us take a crystal of intrinsic type of semiconductor Suppose this is crystal of intrinsic type of semiconductor, this is the junction and we add some pentavalent and trivalent impurity in this crystal. Suppose from this side, from this side we add some pentavalent impurity which gives us n type of semiconductor and from the other side we add some trivalent impurity which gives us p type of semiconductor we know that in the p type of semiconductor holes are majority carrier and in n type of semiconductor electrons are majority carrier so these are electrons which are present in the n type of semiconductor and here are holes So here are the holes which, uh, which are majority carrier at P side and electrons which are majority carrier at N side. After the doping process, these electrons and holes which are free to move, move towards the junction. These holes move towards the junction. Similarly, electrons also move towards the junction and we know the property we know the property of oppositely charged particle these electrons and holes attracts each other they recombine with each other and diffuses themselves and while moment and diffusion of these electrons a little amount of current is formed that current is called as the diffusion current as i told you this diffusion current is very very little and it is only for a little while and I told that at the junction there is recombination of electrons and holes and they get neutralized themselves. At the junction electrons and holes recombine with each other and form positive ions and negative ions. There is a formation of a wall or layer of a positive ions and negative ions at the junction. That layer is called as the depletion layer. Here this positive ions here at the junction this holes recombines with the electrons and becomes negative ions similarly the electrons recombines or diffuses with the hole and becomes the positive ions at each side and after some recombination there is a formation of wall this wall is called as the depletion layer this is the depletion layer this depletion layer behaves as an insulator uh, because of the formation of negative ions and positive ions potential difference is formed which opposes the electrons to cross the junction so this potential is called as potential barrier which is denoted by vb this is the width of the depletion layer d suppose this d is the width of the depletion layer and this width depends on the amount of majority carriers is present in the p side and n side so how much we add the impurity in the crystal that much thinner is the depletion layer this d is inversely proportional to the amount of majority carriers at p side and n side thank you